Welcome back, guys, to another Masters... Is it Masters 25? It's a gynecologist with eight trophies. Is there a player named Gynecologist and had eight, they had eight trophies? Well, I have no way to get back there right now, I guess. So that's unfortunate. Either way, I don't know what to be taken here. What's to be taken? Josh, thank you so much, man. Make it happen? I'm going to work on it. I like pacifism. But I think the last two decks we drafted are white. I also like Blood Hunter Bat. I think Passive is probably just a better card, though, right? By a good amount, I would imagine. It's got to be Passivism, right? <laughs> hmm. I'm going to take the Passivism. I think Stang is pretty terrible like they just kill one half of the stang and it's like oh well i guess you kill the whole stang kill the whole stang i do pacifism first whenever it's there right because it's probably the best card in the pack uh the rare before was magus of the moon pretty sure it's just shadow mage infiltrator here i'm not gonna take fetid heath i think infiltrator is probably the best card in this pack Yeah, I don't think it's close. I like taking Cultivate, maybe, so I can just be uh, like a five-color nonsense deck, but God, I feel like we're just taking all the same cards. We got Core 2 Sar, Passive and Shadow Major for sure. It's basically the same pack, same same deck as we had last time. Maybe Unearth is better than I'm giving it credit for. I mean, it's one man to return a dude. Any dude. Life is a simulation. You ain't wrong, man. It's got to be Prophetic Prism, right? Helps me cast both of these things. I'm not really super sold on... Actually, it's probably Cord Hussar. I like Cord Hussar a lot. How much do I like it? A lot. I think I like it a lot. I'm just going to take this Prism, though. Hmm. I don't like any of the none of these cards are that exciting though, unfortunately. I'm not gonna I don't high pick crab. Like if we get if we get a card that goes with crab, I'll start looking for crabs. That's a weird thing to say. Um but I'm not gonna take a crab first. It's just Arcane Denial. Just another Cortusar. I think Cortusar is better than Fathom Seer. You get one card instead of two, but you get the selection, and you also get to like not have to return two lands to your hand. Wow, we got the Hot Ones fans up in here, man. Oh, we got a Sift. Got an Invigoratu. I'm going to take this Sift. I like drawing cards. Even if we have to discard. How many Cortusars are we getting, man? 
That's a lot of court hussars. I don't hate this guy as a 2-2 that you can just randomly pump off a prism. Kiwi Cloud, thanks so much for saying so, man. I appreciate it. I don't think, I guess Knight. I don't think we want a third court hussar. I don't mind Shoreline Rager. Josh, have a good night, buddy. Thanks for the bits, buddy. <laughs> oh, boy. I think, is it is Ranger better than Accumulated Knowledge is the question. Depends on how many we get, I guess. Well, there we go. All right, we'll just take this one then. Like, how many slots do you want to waste in your deck for accumulated knowledge? Like, three, maybe? I don't think you want two. I think three is a good number. Three is, like, the same as Squadron Hawks. Maybe two is playable. The first one can trips. The second one draws you two for two at instant speed. Burr, 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 burr. Um, I'm gonna take. Pl um, maybe it is on Earth actually. Well, on Earth is not great with Court Hussar, unfortunately. Yeah, we're gonna take Plummet. We could be green instead. Oh my god. Oh my god. And that's playable. Uh, this is an interesting deck. Like, these we can splash green off of. This we can splash black off of. I definitely want one more prism. Bident of Thassa. Or, or Murder of Crows. Ooh. This is a May ability. Okay, that's good. I think Bident is probably better than Murder of Crows. And honestly, if Page, Knowledge, Bloodhunter Bat, or Prophetic Prism come back, I'll be more than th more than thrilled. Yeah, I think it's Biden. I think it's hard. Um but I think it is. Ooh, I like Pillory a lot. Search over for a creature card or really card, put it in your hand. No, we're just going to take Pillory here. I do like having a disenchant in the sideboard, and I think it's actually better than Edict. I don't like Edict that much in this format. I think it's cool to have an Edict in the sideboard, maybe, but... Cesare, what's going on, buddy? I like it better than God's Willing. I don't care about God's Willing that much. I also don't care about the one drop, dude. I think it's just Nyx Fleece Ram. Nyx Fleece Ram blocks everything. Could be Fencing Ace, but... I also don't know why Congregate is in this set. Yeah, I don't mind Twisted Abomination. Especially because we can just cast it off of Prism, but I don't think we're playing any Swamps. I am alright. I also, I think Fencing Ace could be the pick, actually, but... Probably not. We have enough two drops. Like, this is a defensive two drop. We have enough aggressive two drops. I do like a Blood Hunter bat. God, passing Twilight Myers is so weird, dude. I like an ordeal of Heliod here. Never seems to work out, but.
Merfolk looter? Why are you still in this pack, dude? Yeah, we're just going to take looter here. Not really even a big choice. Kind of put knowledge in the sideboard because I don't foresee us getting a bunch of them. If we do, I don't even think I care. We have Biden of Thassa and Sif so far, and Triple Cortusar and Shadow Mage Infiltrator and Merfolk Leader. Uh, we're definitely not long. We're not. We're definitely. Not, we're not. We're not want for for tricks. Cloud Shift seems good. What are we cloud shifting though? Nothing yet. Blood Hunter Bat maybe. Cortusar seems pretty bad to cloud shift. Could just protect. I don't want a fourth court hussar, I'll be honest. The other I have my first cloud shift in case we get good things, which we probably will. Accumulated knowledge number two. Here they come. Uh, we're going to play it off. If we get a Twisted Abomination, we'll put a Swamp in the deck, sure. But we're hoping for a second Prophetic Prism. And we have we definitely have enough filtering, like with Triple Court Hussar, Merfolk Looter, all the, all the, all the card drawing that I just mentioned to uh to get there uh corona zealot seems fine in this deck it's a little more aggressive or a little more defensive that was the bad nickel bolus too like i will play any nickel bolus i will play seven mana nickel bolus i'll play eight mana nickel bolus but once you get out of the planeswalker territory i'm just i'm just out no bueno And also, we're just keeping our fingers crossed that we get another Prophetic Prism. Loyal Sentry seems fine. He's not a card I'm super excited about, but, like, it does a job. I'll just take Curse Catcher for the value. That sweet, sweet Curse Catcher value. Oof. Hmm. Another sift, huh? I think I'd rather have the Rude Faith than a second sift. Wow, the Court Hussar disrespect is so real, man. Well, not the not the blue card we were looking for, unfortunately, but still playable, I guess. Maybe. I don't think we need it. I'd rather have Ghost Ship, to be quite honest. Yeah, pretty sure it's Ghost Ship. I'd rather have the flyer when we have Biden of Thassa. Ash Barons, that's like three tickets. Is there anything we want over an Ash Barons? Not really. And when these are like a hundred when these are like twenty five tickets apiece, boy, you just take the Ash Barons and you and you head for the hills. Yeah, I'll just take Ash Barons. Plus, it's basically... That's actually great for our deck because it's basically land cycling, so we can get a Swamp if we need to. It's actually probably the best pick. I like it a lot. Um, Prophetic Prism number two is pretty sure the pick. Don't care about Willbender. Don't care about Borrowing. Nope, nope, nope. We're not going to cast a double black Gladiator. Yeah, it's definitely Prism here. Oh my god, we could have the double Nicol Bolas draft. Can you imagine? It's also a murder. It's murder. What are we getting back with the Ormancer? Ordeal, Pacifism, Pillory if they kill it. God, I really want, I just want to take the murder here. It actually is Invisible Mountain Dew. Oh, I like a Brine Elemental a lot. 
That's pretty good. I like an exclude a lot. All right, we're getting some good picks here. I think I have to totally lost for now. Sorry, Fibbletip. Mm, don't care about any of these cards, to be quite honest. Freed from the real. Kind of meh. Coral Helm is a two drop that might be better than Knight of the Skyward Eye. With double Prophetic Prism, though, I'm pretty sure we can activate Knight. I like that we can sacrifice a permanent to this. So we can sacrifice like a an extra prophetic prism or a land. Flying could be good because of Bident, but I'm just gonna take spell bomb. We can also activate and draw the card. Uh, I actually can't sacrifice you, Hossmania. You are not mine to sacrifice, my friend. I think Nick's Fleece Ram is sideboardable. Until the time is right. I think Path of Peace is probably fine here, right? I don't think it's Cathar. Maybe it's Cathar. I don't think it's Cathar. It's definitely not Hussar number 5. Card here, Triggered Ability you control. I kind of like the path because we don't have a ton of room. We just have pacifism pillory. I want to take the path. Eh, I'll take a ruthless ripper. I don't think it matters. Mm, I like blue elemental, blue elemental blast. Oromancer. All right. Might, might be able to find a spot for Oromancer in the deck. I'm not sure. Might be better than one of the knights. The Shadows. Have a good night, buddy. Um... I like our deck a lot, actually. Oh, uh, I think we can take out one knight. We have 14 creatures. I'm not thrilled about that. What is the Ormancer getting back? Ordeal, Pacifism... Hillary and Biden. I don't think they're going to... So the thing is, like, all three of these go away if the creature goes away. So, like, Biden, I don't think they're actually going to have an answer for in the main deck. Unless they have, like, Vindicate or something. So that's why I didn't include that. I feel like it might be just a Romancer here. Yeah, I like this deck. This seems sweet. Ash Barons... One swamp. Seven, eight. Eight plus seven, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, seems good. All right, let's try this again. Let's try the old double prophetic prism deck again. Oh yeah, this is the hand we want. Mulliganos, the god of mulligans. This hand is good.
I'm gonna put you on the bottom because, like, I think I can draw land in three turns. First turn, second turn, third turn. Did it. And if we do have to, uh, if we scry like the, if we cycle the barons, I'd rather just draw the six drop. Court Hussar, then Karana. See you, little Pippin. Have a good night, buddy. I think we just get exclude here. And hope they don't put something ridiculous on this guy. Yep, and they did. Make y'all dudes. This combat is so this combo is so fragile. There's a lot of removal in this format. There's murder, uh Chupacabra, there's Path of Peace, there's Swords to Plowshares. You're gonna bounce itself to your hand? Interesting. So we just lost. You lost Helix and Horseshoe Crab. So you just two for one yourself. That's pretty good. I guess you're going to two for one yourself anyway. You just traded Helix for Presence of Gond. Wow. Oh my god, really? There's the plus two, plus two trick in this format, and you just don't even care? Weird. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Oh, the presence of God compels you. So I assume you're going to make three dudes. Yeah, so they have uh, Presence and Prophetic Prism. So we're definitely going to... Uh... Hmm. Intriguing. You made one dude. I'm, in I'm intrigued. I honestly don't know how to beat Horseshoe Crab here. Seems pretty good.
Uh, we didn't cast our other morph creature because we wanted to keep up exclude. Seems pretty obvious, right? I don't know why they're not making other guys. Oh, because we wanted to keep up Brine Elemental mana. Like, we, they, we were hoping they tap out, and then at the end of turn, we Brine Elemental. Like, it's right here. I, I said it's right here, like you guys didn't know. Yeah. I mean, we're hoping they we, were, we want them to tap out. Like, untap this guy, make another dude, untap this guy, make another dude, and then we Brine Elemental them, but they're not doing that. Which is really weird. Like, what's the point of having the Horseshoe Crab combo if you're just going to make one dude a turn? This is very strange. Okie dokie. Willbender. Interesting. That's what they were keeping up. What? Again, they didn't make any dudes. I mean, they could have made... Oh, because I guess they, I guess their land doesn't untap if they do that. So they just go make a guy. This guy doesn't untap, so they untap and make a guy. But then they don't untap, so... Yeah, I mean... What do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can go this guy. Play these three. These three. Nine mana. So we can go this, this, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we don't have double black. So. This is actually kind of obnoxious to deal with. I wish Pillar of the Sleepless took away their stupid activated abilities. Hmm. Interesting.
Um, I don't ever think they could have justified a ten dollar uh, MSRP packs for this set. I think six to eight is probably way more reasonable. There's just way too many feel bads for ten dollar packs. Murder of Crows. That's pretty good. counter spell wow it's all making sense now this seems really hard to beat I think we're definitely bringing in disenchant that's uh, why I wanted to have one on the board there's a lot of enchantments and artifacts in this set that are pretty troublesome It's also the same boat. I'm on a large store in their city and I have a $25 drafts and only two fired all weekend. Oh, God. That's rough, dude. Yeah, that is not good times. And it sucks as a store owner because, like, you can't sell them for that much lower than, like, it's like $8. All damage I'll be able to this turn would be the star creature instead kill you. Make him if you got him, buddy. Yeah, eight bucks is about is about right for uh Wow. <laughs> God, talk about having it all in your four-color deck with multiple horseshoe crabs. I'm intrigued, but I also have a brine elemental that I can just block with. Oh, wow. Getting aggressive here. Sure. Okay. That was interesting.
Yeah, no giant growth. Get rid of horseshoe crab number three, along with a forest of plains and an island. Sure. Sure. really don't care about that guy right now I mean if they didn't have swords for our guy if they didn't have skeletonize for our guy if they didn't have retraction helix for their guy and if they didn't have counterspell for our other thing I think we'd be in good shape right now <laughs> outside of them having the exact five cards they needed I think we were I think we're doing well Sure, I'll take three. Murder of Crow seems pretty good for them here. Like, I mean, they get to, they're going to milk, they're going to like go through a bunch of cards, but I don't think it's going to be relevant in the long run. We do have to see more of their deck as well. Vessel, Brine Elemental. So Willbender and Brine Elemental are two of their morbs. Stang number two, sure. Just seems bad. I don't know. Maybe it's me. I just don't think Stang seems good. And basically, we concede. Sift, okay. They have no cards in hand? Interesting. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven creatures. We have six blockers, so we take five at most and get to eat five guys. Really? Interesting. I think we're just dead on board, though. They just kill us with a bunch of dudes.
cloud shift do anything? I don't think so. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 18 guys, we can block four. Block six. Or is it settle the wreckage when you need it? Boy, this is greedy. <laughs> so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 creatures instead of 18. Yep, cool. All right, so Disenchant can come in. Arcane Denial can come in. Plummet can come in. All right, we can take out the Zealot. Don't think you're that great. Ugh, excuse me. Oh, uh, I don't think we want... I never... I'm really unimpressed with Ordeal in this format. It's just not a good card. Twelve creatures. Like, I don't want to take out any more creatures. Might have to, though. Might take out a knight. Yep, keep. This hand has all of our colors. Seems good. Turn three, turn four. We play a horseshoe crab. No more of eh? I like this better because if it's like Willbender, it doesn't matter. Uh, we got this down before they could flip it. Coral Helm is probably better than Knight, I guess, in this matchup. Oh, they called my bluff. My concern is if this is a Willbender, they can redirect our plummet to our ghost ship. But they also have to have mana to do that. Like enough mana to play a flyer and still do that. And Willbender costs two, so. Yep, here we go. Oh, 
Control one, two, three. And at least now we can regenerate, which is nice, but. All right, make three dudes. Bouncing two things? Interesting. Bounce your own morph. Yep. And it was a will bender. Wow. <laughs> Comical. Well, we got five in the air now. That's a real thing. terrible I think that's actually fine. We just play Brian Elemental, keep up exclude. What do you think of the set compared to other master sets? I think it's good. I, uh, blue sun for four. Why is this a sorcery? I don't know. I mean, I think they had to do that when we have five, five power and flying on the board. Something's happening. I just assume this is a um, Brian Elemental, which they have to resolve. Otherwise, like well, they'll go to two, and then they can keep our guys tapped out for a turn. Sure. 
All right, that's pretty good. So we're assuming this is Willbender. So now both are lethal? Yep, make a dude. Yep, make a dude. That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right. Let's bring in the Coral Helm over the Skyward Knight of the Skyward Eye. Spencer, what's going on, buddy? This counter is what? Skeleton Eyes, and that's pretty much it. I guess it kills a Stang token, though, which is not terrible. Counter Skeleton Eyes or Stang. Not the worst. Oh, I'm still I'm only halfway through the second season of Twin Peaks, so so no spoilers. Uh and also not too much. I was actually just in Seattle last week. I was visiting uh Chris Furter and uh She Chris. So uh funny to Man. I wish you were easier to, to get a hold of. We could have hung out. Yeah. Oh, darn it is right. I will totally take, I will totally take you up on a burger. Um, yeah, we already have one coral helm guide. I don't think we want a second one. I think deck looks good like this. I don't love this hand, but I don't hate it. Um, yeah, the acting's supposed to be weird. David David Lynch is a weird guy. If we win this match, I'm going to be super surprised. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, that's enough lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm satisfied on the amounts of lands now. Do you play your crab? Or do you not play your crab? I guess you play your crab. Because you always have your crabby gentleman. Crab City. What up, Steven C? Yeah, Lynch actually, yeah, that's true actually about season two. Season halfway through season two was apparently written by someone else. Not apparently, it was. It was written by someone else. And um apparently Lynch uh wouldn't do season three unless he couldn't unless he had complete control over over the production. Oh, this is a great, this is just wonderful. This 
So you're tapped out, right? Like. Let me get that two for one. Burn it, burn, 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 burn. Yeah, I'm enjoying season two a lot. It's been a while since I've watched it, though. Me and a couple of friends were watching it pretty regularly, and um, we got sidetracked. So we're about like halfway through, I'd say, a little more than halfway through. Yep. Season three was announced and canceled for a while when Lynch went back to Showtime and said, I need more money to make the show I want. They said no. Mexican standoff ensued. Then they rescinded, gave him what he wanted a few months later. Yeah, I can see that. This is actually absolutely perfect. Not only do we get to flip this guy for one mana, we get to counter a skeleton eyes. Hey, wow, that was great. Their deck seemed fantastic, and uh, ours seemed better. Yes. Dave Matthews lives in your area, like West Seattle? That's crazy, dude. I might want one less knight and one more Coral Helm guide. Just in the deck in general. Maybe we just take the Ordeal out. Ordeal has been underperforming for us. Well, you know, their deck seemed really good, so I got scared. Yeah, we'll just trade Ordeal for Coral Helm Looter. That seems better. Beely, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the bits. I am also glad you caught it. I will play first, because you know what? That's how we do. I'll keep this hand. Any any planes and we're good. I don't want to be playing Kortusar with no white, but, you know, it is what it is. I have faith. Planes. All right, that gives us a three drop into uh, Biden, which is great. Man, turn to brainstorm is interesting. Jackal Pup is also interesting. Give me a plane so I can play this Corhusar and not feel bad. Thank you! That's also great because now we can just block this guy all day. All day. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? That was crazy. Um, it's definitely pillory. It's not these other lands, that's for sure. How am I new here? I've been watching for years. I just don't chat. I um, I don't, I don't know what the the criteria for for being new is. Jinx the chicken. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate the support. Glad you could finally catch live. Also, I imagine if we play Biden here, they're not going to block and we're just going to be able to draw a card with our 1-3. No attacks. It 
see what happens. Maybe they got Lightning Bolt. Maybe they got Counter Spell. They do. Sad days. Where's the uh, Where's the uh, Auromancer when you need it? I mean, our hand is still pretty stacked. We next turn we can go Mystic, into and Looter or Knight, probably Looter. We can just play it safe now and play, uh, just play Mystic down, and then if they try to kill it, we can Cloud Shift it. I like that. Exclude? Wow. All right, now we're going to... It's going to be looting all day. My goodness. The value. Counterspell into exclude. Skeletonize. Murder of crows. That's a dude. Prism. Alright, that'll do. Actually, don't think we care about that. Draw one. Seems good. And by good, I mean mediocre, but I'm sure you have others like this one right here. No, Mog Flunkies. Interesting. Phantasmal Bear. All right. Where's my Coral Helm guy so I can make that guy unblockable? Infiltrator. Oh, there's the Coral Helm guy now. Yeah, we'll just take Coral Home Guide. They have two cards in hand, but five mana. Five mana is a lot, but like... They don't have that many cards in hand, so... If they want to attack with Bear and Flunkies, we can double block the Bear. If they want to attack with Flunkies and Pup, I think it's obvious why that's a bad block. I guess I'm trusting they don't have blue sun zenith. Aggressive. Most aggressive. No. <laughs> yeah, it didn't seem good. Seven mana. Well, that's terrifying. Six mana. Yep, that's a thing. Now we're digging for the destroy creature.
Father of God. Here you draw a card as one damage to a creature or a player. Shoot this guy, shoot this guy. I don't think we have any answer to that. <laughs> this is like the best we got right here. Oh god. I don't think we can beat Niv Mizzet, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Any order. Yep. Put him in the trash can. Oh, and they get to draw and shoot. Alright, so yeah, we're just done. Niv Mizzet's too hard to deal with. I can't I can't handle that. Arcane denial is coming in. Uh so is Blue Elemental Blast. Take out a knight. Now I'll just stay at 41. Actually, Plummet's probably coming in too. We saw Murder of Crows and Niv Mizzet. Seems good. Yeah, keep. Man, felt great when they just had Jackal Pup. Why not a two drop? I don't understand. Oh, they just want to have Counterspell Man on turn two. Okay. Okay. I mean, if they just play Island here, we're just going to go Mystic at a hidden way. All right, cool. Now we'll play Court Hussar. If they want to Arcane Denial this guy, that is just fine. Infiltrator seems great. Arcane Denial seems good, too. I'm just going to take Infiltrator. I don't think we need Arcane Denial if we have um, Blue Elemental Blast, which we can play. We can play Shadow Mage and keep up the Elemental Blast. This counter is Niv-Mizzet, Skeletonize, you name it. Here we go again. You got it. Uh, Denial's not... I don't think Denial's that strong. I don't love giving my opponent two cards, but if they have something like Niv-Mizzet, I just want a hard counter for two mana. It's really what it comes down to. Never. <laughs> Never happening. While cute... No. Oh, I like that you just took two here. Always yield to that. Probably always, yes. All right, your move. <sighs> if they go mountain here, they're one man away from Niv Mizzet. It's real scary. I mean, we could have let the Quicksilver Dagger resolve and save the Blue Elemental Blast from Niv Mizzet, but good lord, is that scary? They just heal us four a turn and 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 draw four cards a turn. Like that's almost worse. Probably worse.
Sure. Man, oh man. Well, that's a start. Like, what are the odds they have exclude here? Like, 100% probably? Yeah, of course. I mean, we can't do nothing, I feel like. It just feels worse. Here we go. That is not an admit. I think we just keep cloud shift up forever, right? Primal clay is also not an admit. 33 ground gentlemen. Okay. Well, we're definitely pacifying that just so we can get just so we can get through here. And how I wish we had one more mana. Yep. Okay, I feel better about that even though we don't have the mana for it yet. getting tired which is why the uh commentary is getting lower you guys are also not very chatty right now this is very strange there's no way you attack sure We're also tired. Fair. Okay. Kindle this guy. Skeleton eyes. Yeah, don't do that. That guy's too important to the mission. Then they both died. Me too. I am enjoying it as well. All right, lands. It's enough out of you. Dang it, primal clays. Dang it. 
Man, these are sad. 1-6 defender now? Well, I guess this Mystic, Mystic of the Hidden Way has got the, the fort locked down pretty tight, so that's pretty good. Oh, that's a good one. Arcane Denial? Pillory? Ash Barons? Six. We'll just play you. All right, let's see how this let's see how this plays out. One hundred and forty kilometers to play five rounds and drive back. Good lord, man, that is commitment right there. Oh boy. Everybody, everybody in front. All right. Skip that on tap step. Kindling, sure. Why didn't why is this tapped? Each opponent skips his or her next untap step. What? Oh, it's their turn. Never mind. Wow. I was like, I don't get it. I thought it was time walk for a second. Wow. Yeah, it's late. I'm like, but it's my I, I thought it was skips their turn. And I'm like, but why did my guy untap? Why did all my lands are still tapped? Why did my guy untap? Yeah, that's not great. We figured it out. So if they block here, block here, they take five, but it's the same if they... Might as well five, yeah. Here comes Niv Mizzy. You ready? I have Quicksilver Dagger, Primal Clay, Primal Clay. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, you know, we have Plummet, so.
Just gonna pass here. If we can't pump this guy, there's no incentive to attack. They just go block here, block here, kill our knight. Ten and round is two. We are up, up, up a match. Oh, we're down a, we're down a game. We're one zero. Here comes Niv Mizzet, and yeah. Good thing we wasted that plummet. One, two, three, five, six. Yeah, we have enough for everything, so. They can't really block with Jackal Pup. I mean, they can block here and then block here. <gasps> what? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> So we can just deal all damage to the Jackal Pup, right? <laughs> wow. Kill you? And that's how you get around Niv-Mizzet, I guess. All right. Sweet. Uh... Rev, I've been focusing on my own YouTube channel, so if you haven't done so, check it out at youtube.com slash franklapore. I've been devoting a lot of time to that and posting videos every day at 11 a.m. Eastern, so be sure to check that out. Man, that's crazy, dude. Disenchant for double primal clay, quicksilver dagger. Interesting. Um... We actually have a bunch of answers to Niv-Mizzet. We have uh, Path of Peace, Plummet, Blue Elemental Blast. On a lesser note, we have Pacifism and uh, Pillar of the Sleepless. Seems good. Like, I, I like Disenchant because they have a bunch of bad artifacts, but... We already have Exclude. We also have Arcane Denial for Niv-Mizzet. Hmm. This guy did some work, man. Rev McIver, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Preach. Oh, uh, I think we're just gonna submit like this. I think we're fine without the disenchant. It might I I could the only thing I can think of cutting for the disenchant is arcane denial. Oh, I'm still associated with CFB. I'm not, I'm not like, I have no, like, I mean, like we're on great terms. Like I, I just, there, like there's no reason not to have the logo up. Cause I'm still like part of that, that whole thing. I mean, it's just a matter of like, okay, well, I guess if you go to five, well, eh, this is probably the best five we can ask for. <laughs> Jackal Pup. Man, I can't believe we kept these Jackal Pups in against my deck of 1-3s. Alright, I mean, this is the best 5 we could have asked for, so... I mean, fingers crossed, no exclude, I guess. All right, that's enough lands. Uh, we don't have the pickle lock. We just have pickle. We just have the pickle. Um, Because it's a brine elemental, so it's briny like pickles, like a brine. I guess I keep saying brine. Brine. 
and um, they're not going to play anything, are they? Oh, that's great. It's your boy, Arcane Shadow Mage Infiltrator Guy. Can we get Biden down and just draw two cards per attack with this guy? That seems good, right? Rev MacGyver. It looks like MacGyver, but like just pronounced differently. Um, Yeah, I'm not going to fall into a Kindle, so I think we'll pass. Yeah, I'm not really about falling into the Kindle, okay? Man, you guys take your brining seriously. Good lord. I mean, this guy's 1,000% getting exclu excluded, right? Oh, God. Just let it resolve. Oh, wow. It resolved. That's so good for us because it gives us, like... I mean, they're going to kindle this guy, I'm sure. Yeah, obviously. To the surprise of no one. Here comes Murder of Crows. Yeah, we just drew a lot of lands, unfortunately, here. And they just keep on coming. All right. I mean, we can take three more and hope we don't just die to... Niv Mizzet. All right, Court Hussar is good. Wow, double Court Hussar is also good. All right, so two Court Hussars next turn is pretty okay. That's that should give us some some staying power. However, they're just gonna play Niv Mizzet here. Oh, <laughs> he's so ready for it. All right, we go to nine, but I think that's okay in a limited match. Less okay when they have to visit all three games. We can draw things. We can, we, there are, there is hope. So we get to look at five cards. It's pretty good. God, you're just killing me here. All right. Plummet one time. Oh my God. That's so bad, dude. Are you just dead? Block here, block here. We take four, five. We can't even cast exclude because they have uh, this guy out. All right. It's four, five. We take five, we go to four. What do you think is better between Master of the Wild Hunt and Living Death? Um, in what context? In green decks, I think Master is better. In in black decks where you're trying to control the board, I think Living Death is better. <laughs> I don't know if those two cards are comparable. Is Master in this format? And you're like, it is. Oh, I see. Um, I'd probably go with the Master in this format. All right, we go to four here. They get to draw another card. Oh, no, it's whenever you draw a card. This guy doesn't actually draw you cards, does he? Oh. All right. 
Looks like we made it. Yes, Blue Elemental Blast kills Niv Mizzet. That's why we. Uh... Let's draw a bunch of cards. That's a good one. That's a good one. Thank God these are May abilities, am I right? That was good. Did I replay land? Dang. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I kind of want to keep exclude up. I don't know what I don't know what they could have. But we can discard a bunch of things here. Let's get rid of looter. Let's get rid of planes. Isn't there a blue one to blast to say Pluma for crows? Um, no, because we have exclude for crows. The reason I did that was because if they have a we're at four, so if they have a burn spell, I want to be able to counter it with blue elemental blast. I'm I'm more concerned with staying alive at this point. We also have path of peace in hand, so like we have a bunch of answers for the stupid. The stupid crows. I mean, being at four, like, we're worried about burn spells. These are all May abilities, right? Nope. 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 I'm just literally not drawing cards here because our hand is so good. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Hmm. You got it. Let's force you to attack. How's that sound? Yeah, opponent opponent can hope to mill me out, but I think we got this. I don't think 16 turns is going to come. Yeah, this is why we kept it in hand. Now we get to eat both your Curse Catcher and your Jackal Pup and deal you a point. Wow, this game was a mulligan to five, my friends. And we have seven cards in hand and three dudes on board. <laughs> sure. I mean, we're just going to say no forever now. Four, five, six, seven, eight. If we had one more mana, we could actually Brine Elemental and flip it this turn. I want to hit a land. That'll do. Nope. 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 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so close, man. And this is lethal on board. We have five on board. We also have path, blow into blast, and cloud shift here. Mm. 
All right. Wow, this match was great again. All right, give me one second. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, and then we can finish this matchup. All right. All right. See if we can see if we can get our first trophy. I doubt it, but let's find out. Keep you on top. Now we can get our Swamp Arena. I'm not smart. I'm okay. We did it. Wow. Got rewarded. Woo. I was like, oh, we're going to draw a planes. I can go search for my swamp because that won't change where the planes is. But it's fine because you get rewarded. That's good. Frank, okay, here, I got it. I know you hear this all the time. This is my first time catching you live. I randomly found one of your YouTube videos like four months ago and died laughing at you and Mike on the first video I watched. Instantly fell in love with your content. Thank you so much, man. Kind buds. Uh, appreciate it, buddy. Buddy. 
Cause buds. <laughs> It definitely does seem like the scribe cards don't get shuffled. I've definitely seen I've seen I've seen this kind of thing before. We don't have pickles combo. We just have we just have Brian Elemental. We just have old Brian Arena. I accept. Oh, that guy could have been good. Sorry, I don't know that one. Well, that's obnoxious. Okay, so planes and planes in hand. Anax survivalist is gone. Uh, Twitch did. Yeah, you heard the you heard the uh, the the Alexa? the a the a word. You can't say her name, otherwise she gets triggered. Uh, MTG bot did get unbanned. It was great. I'm so gl I'm so grateful because Dan makes a great bot, and there was no reason for it to be banned in the first place. So, all right. I guess it's this is fine. Actually, Magic just wants us to make sure that we have all the mana to cast or to flip Brian Elemental. So that's good. I also cried a little that day, dude. I, I, we went to use we went to use like the quotes and stuff, and it just wasn't working. We we're like, "What is what's going on with the MTG bot?" And uh, it was gone, and it was really sad. Yep, that guy's pretty good. I haven't seen any green white decks just by themselves. No attacks. All right. Okay. Well, I'd like to know where you got the mana. I've been drawing it. That's where. Five color green. I have not, but I've definitely been meaning to. It seems like draftable as soon as you, as long as you get the cultivates and stuff, like it seems actually pretty good. Oof. Very aggressive. This is a fine trade. Like that guy ain't gonna get any easier to deal with. We don't need another plane, so we're just gonna hold it in case we draw Merfolk Looter. They have one card in hand. I guess we can hope it's not like uh you know, something good. This this we our draws have been terrible. We've drawn like four spells and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands. Ugh. Give me a pillar of the sleepless. Okay, another land. Actually, that's exactly what I was, I was actually thinking that. Um, I was like, Pillory? Uh, another land? Okay. Yeah, 
Well, I'd like to know where. Oh, me and Mike Dominari draft seems like gas. That that set seems good. It seems like there's a lot of things to do, which is nice. I'll even take a prophetic prism at this point, making this guy a five five. Oh god, these guys are his are so post combat Griffin post combat knight. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is this guy's great in their deck. What up, Gamma Set? You scribe land to the top. Somebody Joe thinks you need land. He's <laughs> just trying to help. Yeah, I guess that's fair. That is a good point. Nathan Zamora. It's your boy. Man, I love you guys always catching me live for the first time. That's actually super sweet because it means you go to YouTube, you watch the YouTube videos, and then you're like, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go on Twitch and follow this guy. And that's pretty cool. So I think seven here. How about we draw um Biden of Thassa into Pillory of the Sleepless. All right, I also accept you as an offering because you just block here, which is great. <laughs> There's a Biden of Thassa. Prism lets us pump this guy, but I don't think we care about that so much anymore. I think we just rather have the Biden. I'd like to know where you got the notion. I mean, I think if you want to trade here, that's fine. We can actually just cloud shift just to get him out of the way. Yeah, that's fine. Trigger that guy. Let's draw a card. Well, we're going to keep playing lands now because uh, we want to be able to do as many things as we can. I watched so many of Frank's videos at work that now my boss knows Frank's life story. Wow, well, you know, the more the better, I guess. Which I made up as I went. Well, you see, he was born. I, I can't even make up my own fake life story. If you want to attack with Knight, we're just going to chump block with Kortusar. Or we chump block with our own Knight because it forces you to pump. I guess both force you to pump, right? Yeah, this is fine. I like Kortusar better, though, just because it's Vigilance. So I can actually attack with it, try to draw a card, and then... Luminarch Ascension, eh? Do we have to draw two here? Boy, does that seem good. Oh, wow. This is great. Yes. Yes. How are we How are we still alive right now? That's pretty cool. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. This costs five, six, seven, eight. I guess we just Corona Zealot. Yeah, if we had one more mana, we could have actually uh, Court Hussard and this guy. We could have Court Hussard for a land, but we already played one for the turn, so that doesn't seem good. I don't know what you are, but I assume you're just an Anox Survivalist because that's one of the most common green-white morphs. All right. 
Did we get him? Jared Soul, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Get that bird out of my life, boy. Uh, it's probably Ranger. Rager? Ranger? Any order is fine. Let's draw like three cards here. Three, four, five, six. We get two blockers. If this guy's a flyer, we're in bad shape, so we want to actually try to hit something. They have one card in hand. I feel like this is a survivalist. What else could this be? I don't know what this guy what else what else this guy could be. It can't be their own zealot because then they wouldn't actually They have six mana, so it actually could be Wooly Loxodon. Yeah, it's probably Wooly Loxodon. That's my guess. Which is actually just fine. It doesn't have trample, so... Oh, it's... What? You create that many 1-1 one, one green insect tokens. Okay. So they have three guys. We have two blockers. We can also play something else. I assume we're going to be able to draw. Something. Something. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Again, we're one away from the relevant, uh... I mean, they're dead on board, right? Like, we just go block, block, and then we take one? I feel like it's just safer to play a guy, though. If we draw a guy that costs less than three, or a pillory, we're in good shape here. A, a planes, Okay. Yeah, we're just going to play this. They have one card in hand. They get to draw one card. So. We saw Griffin Protector. That was our only flyer we saw. And the only enchantment we saw was Luminarch Ascension. So I don't think we're actually... I don't think we want Disenchant or Plummet at this point. And this is not good. This might be a great Ordeal of Heliod deck, though. Put on, like, a Cord Hussar. I also don't think Totally Lost is that bad here. Corona Zealot was great. Killed their Flyer. That's cool. I almost like Dragon's Eye Savant because they have multiple of the 5-5s five and a 4-5, and this guy's just really good. I mean, it's not really good, but it's good against those guys. I think we're going to take one of these guys out and bring in Dragon's Eye Savant, and we'll go, we'll do the old 45, and we'll just play one totally lost. Actually, we'll play Ordeal instead. 06 isn't great, but it blocks everything in the green-white deck, so we'll see what that does. Wow, this hand is good. I mean, given that we... I mean, so long as we hit a third land. And we did. All right. Into Biden. Shadow Mage Infiltrator drawing two cards a turn. Seems good. Oh, look at that little guy. Good 
going to assume this is a land. Not a land. A court hussy. Uh, this is either, either I stream both at night, uh, anywhere from like nine to two AM Eastern time, or I stream during the afternoon between like two and six Eastern time. So anywhere between those times, I try to try to mix it up a little bit. Tomorrow I'll be on in the afternoon as well. Cultivate's nice. Take a turn off. Seems good. This guy. I have been back in Florida for over a year now. Well, I'd like to know where you got the notion. Well, definitely not blocking this idiot. I'll take two, unless you want to pump this guy because you have nothing better to do. The wife tried to wake me again, but I was already awake. Joke's on you, wifey. Ugh. You cannot wake that which has been awake. Oh, a griffin protector. For Gryffindor. And a loyal sentry. Ain't nobody got time for those guys. I guess we're just drawing a card here, seeing what happens. I'd like a two drop so I can go pacifism other thing. Man, fear is a good a good thing. Not in life, but like in, in, in the game of magic when you're when you're the one with the fear creature and they don't have guys. Usually the other way around is not as good. So I'm pretty sure we just play a thing, a guy here. Because next turn, we can play the two drop and a three drop. We have multiple three drops, so. Oh, I like Bloodhunter Bat a lot. I like it, I, I probably like it better than... Uh... Yeah, it's good because it lets us race a little bit better. Yep, just making sure we play the land. I might also just block the knight. So if you want to, uh, if you want to spend your turn pumping, totally fine. Don't even care. There's a lot of forests, my friend. Also, if you want to play anything pre-combat, we also have enough card drawing engine that like we can actually just. Uh, let them... Okay, so now, like, this isn't a threat, so we only take three, which is pretty good. So what did we see last game? We saw Anak Bonkind, and what was the other card? What was the other morph we saw? Well, I like 
to nowhere. You got the notion. Oh, the the brood and yeah, the cultivator thing. Good call, good call. So I guess we're just attacking at this guy. Draw one. Pretty sure we're playing Cortusar this turn. It's probably our best. God, drawing extra card every turn. Oh, uh, ghost ship seems great, actually. As you can imagine, we don't really care about Sift. <sighs> Knight can be obnoxious, but I think we're more concerned with the Griffin Protector. Right? No, I guess not. We can play Ghost Ship next turn and not even worry about it. Yeah, I think it's this guy. Ghost Ship kind of changes things. However, if that is the artifact enchantment removal guy, that's pretty good. Busts it up. Attacks for a million three. And it is. No, nope. okay. Well, now one of them is, that's for sure. All right, we got to get some beef on the board now. Can't attack with this guy. So you can attack with these three. I'd probably just double block here. You get two one ones if it's one guy and you got to flip it. I don't know if that's great. All right. Unexciting. Six mana. That doesn't give us anything. If we draw a two mana card here we're good because I just want to play two things here oh my god get it together lands I feel like it's Hussar and like Zealot Come on, Pillory. Thank you. Stick for five. Yeah, so now they're going to flip their Enoch Survivalist, I think it's called. Waiting to pay costs. Kill the pillory. To the surprise of no one. <laughs> yep, that's fine. Because now we still have Ghost Ship next turn. And we can also play, like, uh, Zealot as well. And now we have two cards in hand, which is good. I think this guy's a 1-1. One -one, so we can actually go, like, block, block, block. Block, 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 block. We can block them all. This guy's not coming in, so we'll take this, and then we'll just go double block here, block here. Take four, go to five. I think that's fine. Or we'll take two. I like that as well. Six mana. 
I think it's Bat. Oh, uh, actually, it's Ghost Ship Zealot, right? Yeah, that's good. Four and two. Let's see which one goes into play. Four and three. So you have a forest in hand. You just play it? No. Did you? Yeah, you played forest. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a zealot ghost ship turn. Or we can actually play bat. Might just be double. Might just be bat ghost ship. Nope, we actually play land. I lied. Oh god, this is terrifying. Sundering Titan. Oh god, don't be a Sundering Titan. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's nothing game-breaking, or else they would have cast this, or else they would have not taken this long. Yeah, Colossal Dreadmaw is fine. Dance all night, play all day. Yep. Yep. All right. Great turn. Great turn. We did it. Ooh, I like an order of Heliod here. Pretty sure the morph is not Willy Locks on because they had plenty of turns to unmorph it. Uh, we didn't play Biden because we're probably going to play something better than Biden. I don't really care about drawing one extra card for four mana. I just want to put more bodies on the board because they have a lot of power. And I'm pretty sure flipping this guy is the play here. Wouldn't have been two more. I don't know what that means. Yeah, well, we're not going to... They are not. They have a 2-3, and we have a 2-4. We're not going to get through. They also have a 2... We have, they have a 2-3 and a 2-3, so they just double block our ghost ship if we don't put Ordeal on here. Biden doesn't do anything. So here's the thing, guys. If we put Ordeal on here, we're only attacking with one guy. Now this guy is big enough to get through both of these. And it will keep getting... I don't care about this card. And it will keep getting bigger. Like, we don't need the cards. We have seven cards in our hand. We don't have a problem with cards right now.
I wish we could play things right now. So we have nine, we can play bat and we can, uh, so we got one, two, well, I don't care about this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six blockers. We have one, two, three, four, five blockers. Yeah, that seems fine. one card in hand we just have to hope to fade that that's actually pretty okay we can play you one two three four five six seven eight nine four five six. I actually just tempted to play this as a as an o1 keep up exclude and bat Hmm. I don't think that's correct. Because we still got to keep up exclude here, so I'm not really... This is only creature, right? Not player. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like, just keeping this guy up means we can block Colossal Dreadmaw and not die. Alright, save one card in hand. I'm pretty sure they're just dead here. Like, we can even play Coral Helm Guide to make Ghost Ship unblockable. Attack for a six. Uh, yeah. Alright, so you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attackers. We can actually take three, four, five. So you'll have one, two, three, four, five. And we got, we got plenty of blockers. Yeah, that's fine. Flipping this guy is much more important. All right, they have no cards. I think that's game. Yep. All right. So. Blocks. You block there. You block there. I don't actually care about the guys... You're going to block there. You're going to block there. Okay. Yeah, we figured it was that guy. That's fine. And... Take out your reach spider instead, I guess. Yep, go to two. Make a one one. That feels like a game. They have no cards, it doesn't matter. We can just attack here, right? And we gain 10. Seem good. Oh, got the good games. All right, sweet, our first trophy. Thank you, finally, good lord. That deck seemed great, and it did, and it was. Thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I have new videos coming out every day at 11 a.m. Eastern, so be sure to check back or check previous videos, whatever you wanna do. And uh, thank you guys so much for the support, appreciate it.